part, people who go to these churches, who rely and, and, and confide in these pastors and these teachers, right, to tell them and teach them what sin is, they don't have a clue, right? They don't have the they don't have the correct understanding of what sin is, right? So we're gonna show y'all, man, in the Bible. Let me get that what sin is, first of all. Let me get that first, right? This is full! 19. Bring it up. 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 It's the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. Oh. And ye shall know the truth. That's right. We want black, Hispanic, and Native Indians to know the truth, right? right? To know who they are according to the Bible. To know what they're supposed to do in these last days, right? To know the truth. Bring it out. And the truth shall make you free. Why? Because we want them to be free, right? Free from this captivity that we've been stuck in for over 500 goddamn years, man. Right? right? We want our people to be free, right? But they don't want to they, want, they love America too much, man. That's Right, bring it out. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. 
to be a special people. So God, he chose us to be a special people, right? Not like short, but special, but like, you know, you see a, a football player that got some potential to go to the league, like, hey, that boy's special, right? He, he, you know you got friends, right? You know, like, hey, that dude got some special talent. That kind of special, right? So that's how God look at us, right? That's how he looks at y'all. Y'all two kings, right? Bring it out. Unto himself. Uh-huh. Above. Wait, below. Above. Above. Equal to. Above. above. All people that are upon the face of the earth. So God said that we're above all people that are upon the face of the earth. How you feel about that? How you feel about the God of heaven and earth that created everything around you? Said that you are above all people that are the face of the earth. They want you to feel like you're equal to everybody in this society. You ever hear that? Like, oh, we all equal. Let's just be equal. They always tell us that, right? But when you actually like go into the Constitution, they still consider us to be three fifths of a human, King. So if we still consider to be three fifths of a human, how are we to be equal with anybody? You see, you see that? You see the ideology in that? That's wrong, right? They've been teaching us wrong the whole time. So that's why we gotta come out here. We gotta teach young brothers like you, young sisters. And our people all around scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who they are, what they're supposed to be doing for God, because if we truly love God, we have to serve Him. Serving meaning what? We gotta keep the laws, statutes, commandments, right? With our teaching right now, that we right. gotta keep the laws of God, right? Let me ask you, you go to church at all with grandma or auntie or uncles or anything like that? No? Huh? Not no more, but you used to, right? Who was it? Catholic, Christian, Baptist, Christian, right? Let me ask you, do you know any of the commandments but the Ten Commandments off the bat right now? No? See, that's the that's thing. Our, we don't teach the commandments enough to our people. But that's what the most high God gave us, right? Allah, he said, I taught you statutes and judgments, right? Because in order to judge somebody, you have to have a law to go off of, right? Because in America, you get judged. Like, you know, we understand there's a judicial system, even though it's corrupt, right? But they still have a law to go by to judge off of, right? So, bring it up. Even as the Lord my God commanded me uh -huh. that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. Our God told us that we got to keep these laws wherever we go, in the land, whether we possess the land or not. Now, I'm sure you and I both know, we don't possess America. Dealing drugs and then pipping out women and making money that way and, and screwing each other over. 
right? Do a false dealing to things like that. And that's not good. That's how we destroy each other. Because when you look at the other nation, they don't do that to each other.
Let me show you what the Bible says, right? Bring it out. For this is the love of God. It's like showing you love God, right? That we keep his commandments. That we what? That, that we, we keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. What else? And his commandments are not grievous. We got to keep the commandments, right? Not just the ten that we hear about, but all of them in the scripture. There's, a, there's more than ten commandments. There's six hundred and thirteen of them, right? Just niggas and black people, right? Oh. Right? What you got? Hold on. Hold that and then get that. I got Psalms 82 and 6. Uh-huh. I have sinned. Hold on. This is what God said, right? Because he loved y'all. He gave y'all some. Let's see what else he said. This is Psalms uh -huh. 82 and 6. Uh -huh. I have sinned. Ye are God. He said what? Ye, Ye are God. God said that y'all are gods. Well, people say there's only one God. He said, ye are gods. And what else? And all of you are children of the Most High. That's right. Black Hispanic Natives are the children of the Most High God. So Black Hispanic and Native Indians are the children of the Most High God. He said that they are gods. There's more than one God did, right? But we have only one true creator. That's the Father, right? And everything else below that, we have the, the, the Son, the world called Jesus Christ, the world named Yahweh Shai, right? In the paleo, we have all the true Right? 
God showed the people. I want you to go home and read from now on because the scriptures say blessed are those that read it right you got to read this Bible to understand it because it's your book it's not a book of religion it's not the book of for everybody right so it's for the black Hispanic and individual right because right? so we got over here on boats right because we right? right? call slaves right this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15 but it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, you don't listen to God. Right. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Yeah, what? That all these curses. No, sorry, verse one. Sorry, verse one. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken. Digitally unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we listen to God, right? Like diligently. Keep going. To observe and to do all his commandments. Uh -huh. Which I command thee this day. That's right. Do all of it, not some. But the church I have you believe in all. You don't got to keep all the commandments. You know, you do these, they, they think it too. No, we do all the commandments, right? So keep going. That the Lord thy God will set thee. On high above all nations of the earth. Listen to our God. He's going to set us above all the nations of the earth. And if you're in a different shape place right now, you, you and your brother would have to walk outside, be riding a bike, and you can have servants and handmaids carry you. Right? You can go do whatever you want, man. You listen, life will be way better right, when you're in control of things. When we're not in control of nothing. Right? We think we're in control of something. Right? We think we control, we don't control nothing. These people can come take whatever they want at any given time. But read verse 15. But it said if we don't listen, right? So he said if we listen, we're going to be on above all nations, on high. Clearly said that's not black, Hispanic, and Independence in America. We do agree. Right? Bring it out. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Uh -huh. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. And it, right? We, we see it coming to pass now in this place of America. Right? Bring it out. If thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. That all what? That all these curses. All these what? All, all these, these curses. curses. When you say that we're a cursed people right now, the state of black and his pack, we got to look for somebody else for night and day, right? If we never really have any time for ourselves, our kids, right? curse right now. Last hire, first fire. We're killing each other left and right on every damn block and neighborhood. A curse. Bring it out. Let me show you one of the curses though. You know the right, and overtake thee! Uh-huh. Right? Now let's show you the curse that I, I referenced, right, about how we got it so far neighborhood, right? So this should kind of spark you. Hopefully you all want to keep your interest a little bit more than we just look. Bring it out. Verse 68. This is Deuteronomy! 28 and 68. Right? But essentially, we kind of have an idea of how we got here on folks, right? I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. By what? With ships. With what? With ships. So the Lord was going to bring us into Egypt again. Separated the land, right? So this is going to be a new Egypt, right? Bring it out. By the way whereof I spoke unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Right. So we were brought to this place, America. We were sold, right? Sis, would you agree? Right? So the Bible is telling us that we left the first Egypt for Moses, right? Walked out of the Egypt. But he said we were gonna be brought into a place again on ships, right? Into an Egypt on ships. Right? Do you know what we was doing in the original Egypt? Are you familiar with the story of Moses? Let my people go with Pharaoh, right? So the Israelites, they were in captivity under Pharaoh in the ancient Egypt, right? But it said that he was gonna bring us into Egypt again, right? Into a bondage again. Because that's what they get. Get into this police 
I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you how easy it's synonymous with bondage and captivity, right? This is Exodus 20 and 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. Of bondage because the Israelites were in captivity. That's why Moses had to go in there and bring his people and bring them out. But if you go back to the Bible, 68, bring them back. So, so. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, right? Learn not the way of the heathen. He said, what? Learn, Learn not, not the way, way of the heathen. Learn not the ways of these other nations. These other nations, anybody outside of the nation of Israel, outside of black, Hispanic, and Native Indians, they're heathens, right? And God is not dealing with them. He only dealing with us. But he will deal with them eventually for what he has done to us, right? Which is called righteous retribution. Which is coming right. to this place, America, that we were our ancestors were involuntarily brought to, raped, robbed, and murdered here. It's, it's millions and millions of our ancestors who are in this land, right? So guess what? Have you ever heard of karma? It's in the Bible. That's that's anybody that believes in karma, they get it from the Bible because there's no other there's no other book that talks about karma outside of the Bible. Maybe now, but it's preceded it though. Let me show you. Voluntarily, we're sold into our enemies for bond men and bond women. And the scripture says, No man shall buy us. Now, we know we were bought, but that word buy us means to not, which means to redeem. We were brought here, and we were never redeemed by anybody. We're still here in America, right? We've had people, religious, uh, uh, we've 
we've had people that ro rose up and tried to help us get us out of this captivity, right? Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, Rosa Parks, you know, Harriet Tubman, things like that. But they never redeemed us. So that's why it's going to take who the world calls Hickman called uh, the Jesus Christ, Roe Negan, our child, to come redeem us. He's the only person that can do it. Right? Bring it out. Let me show you something. This is Revelation 13 and 10. Uh -huh. Bring it out. He that lead him into captivity. The people that led us into captivity, which you said, which were great, white people, right? But it's not just them, it's many other nations, right? The scriptures say, you know, every nation has had a hand, a part in our, our captivity, and had a hand in our kingdom, right? So it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall what? Shall go in the captivity. Have we seen these so called white people, these Africans, these Asians, these East Indians go into captivity yet? We haven't. History doesn't show it, right? But the Bible says it's going to happen, right? Bring it out. He that killeth with the sword. Haven't they killed us time and time again? We've had so many, uh, 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 you know, Black Lives Matter movements. We've had all these various movements and marches in the street. You know, we've seen George Floyd. We've seen all these people get killed with no real justice. But this is the justice that we're going to get. So say that he that killeth with the sword, what? Must be killed with the sword. What else? Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The saints of God are patiently awaiting this to happen. And the only way that we can actually make this happen is if we come together and do the laws that the Most High God said and keep them collectively and have faith in the Christ and the Messiah who's going to come and deliver us from this place. Then we'll see that happen. Right? So. I want to pique y'all and get y'all interest if y'all not already reading the scripture to continue to pick the book up. Erase any religious aspects of it because the Bible has nothing to do with religion. The Bible is history. It's law. It's the way to govern ourselves, right? And to read it with a new mind and understand that your people are in it. Right? It's, you're reading about your ancestors in that book. All right? So when you go home, pick it up, read the first five books, understand the narrative, understand the law, read the history, and know that that's your people you're reading about. All right? And we got to repent as a nation so we can receive our kingdom. That's right. That's what's important. Bring it out, huh? Y'all got a flyer? Hey, y'all got a flyer? This is Joel 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I said he's going to be in the midst of Israel. Not everybody, right? Because Israel is his chosen people. He loves Israel. Right? Bring it out. And that I am the Lord your God. Lord our God. Not the God of the, everybody in the world. Like they teach in church. He's the God of everybody. He loves everybody. No, he don't. You can prove that emphatically. Right? People have a problem with that. And all we do is read the Bible. They got a problem with that. We go to so many scriptures to show that he don't love the world. Right? Bring it out. Joel 2 and 27 uh -huh. And ye shall know mm -hmm. That I am in the midst Of Israel uh -huh. And that I am The Lord your God And what? And none else He the Lord the God of Israel and none else That's what God said So when anybody try to tell you He's the God of everybody He's the God of Israel And none else Right? Give me Psalms 149 and uh, uh 47 and 19, real quick. Show you something, too, right? Wait, wait, wait. Show you something. Psalms 147, verse 19, right? The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showeth his word unto Jacob. What's that word? And his judgments unto Israel. Uh -huh. Verse 20. He he had not dealt so with any yeah. nation. God not dealing with these other nations. Right? They don't know his law test. Right. right? But what else? And as for his judgments. As for his judgments. They have not known them. They haven't known them. Right. We have only known the judgment because we are the ones sinning. We have been the ones that have been sinning killing our brothers, you know, we live towards our sisters, we come out here and tell our people they have to stop doing that. So we can, we can, we can do better.
better. We have to do better. We are commanded to do better. Right? Because we are Israelites. We're not black. We're not Mexican. We're not all these terms that they've given us. You understand? So if you truly fear the Most High God, take heed to this. Do you know this is Right? Because we have a job to do. And it, it starts with one. We have to get all of our people to repent, right? To keep the laws of God. Right? Let me get the I'm going to show you one more, one last scripture, sis. I know it's just it's a lot going on out here, right? But check out that fire. We get some time with the information. Check it out. This is Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? You said you love God, right? He requires something of you, though. Not just to call upon his name and pray anytime you get in a, in a debacle or when something bad is going on. You gotta praise and praise him and give him his thanks for something that's going on to him. But he said, What does the Lord require of you? Right? Bring it out. But to fear the Lord thy God. You gotta fear him. In order to fear him, you have to reverence him and understand what that fear because you know why? He can destroy you at any given moment. That's the right. Fear, right. right? God can destroy. He don't need none of us. Right. That's the fear that people should have. You could be driving down the street and so, boom, you're going just like that. That's all it takes, right? So we got to fear him and knowing that he can judge us any time. Bring it out. To walk all in his ways. That's right, all of his ways. Keep on. And to love him. And to what? Hey, love him. him. How do we love God? We got to keep his commandments like we read to the young man earlier. That's the love of God, that we keep his commandments. They're not grievous. They're not hard. We make it hard. Like, you know, we always make stuff hard as black and as bad. We make stuff hard and it's so easy. Our God is sitting there having waiting on us to get it right because it's really that easy, right? We're not waiting on him. He's waiting on us to get it right. That's right. He has the reward waiting for us, oh. right? Keep on. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. All your mind and with all your consciousness, right? You know? That's it. Some of that? What you got? So remember, sister, right? Before you leave the stage, the so-called Negroes, right, or the real Jews according to the Bible, right? We are the real men because we're the children of God, right? Or you got to teach the kids as well, right? So it starts with them as well. If, if we're here in this captivity any longer, guess what? You got to train them up. The scriptures say train up a child in the way that they should go. So if you want your kids to have true moral, a true moral standard and a true moral God, it's the Bible, right? And he commanded you. He didn't ask you. He told you. This is Joshua 1 and 18. Bring it up. Whosoever he be that do rebel against thy commandment. If you rebel, if you don't want to listen, if you with the Father, the real Father told you to bring it out. And will not hearken unto thy words mm -hmm. in all that thou commandest him. He shall be put to death. He shall what? He, he shall, shall be dead. Dead. Yeah. Don't we see too much of that going on with our people? Especially in Atlanta, right? The crime rate is not the damn proof right now. It's crazy. That's the first, listen, that's the first thing my mom told me when I got out here. Listen, son, there's a lot of shooting going on. Be careful. I said, damn, I'm like, we live in Covington. What's going on? Like, so, yeah. If you don't want to listen to God, death is knocking at that door. Right? And you have little ones that you you don't want to leave them behind just, you know, with nothing. Right? You want to leave them with something. This is what you want to leave them with. All right? The most important thing. It's our heritage. It's our book. All right? You remember that. Right? So, it's from the tribe of Judah, which is Yahweh Da in the Hebrew. Right? Which is the same tribe where the world calls Jesus Christ from. That's right. That's important to know. It's our black Right? A lot of our people, they, they have an understanding that, you know, Christ is a black man. Right? So, you know, you show me the scriptures, they have an inclination that so Christ is black, Christ is black, right? The prophets is black, right? So if we black, we, we gotta we gotta come back and, and get with our heritage. Alright? So I hope you were edified, sister. I know it's still very windy, you know, and a lot going on out here. But check us out. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We have a school out here in Atlanta, alright? Schools all over the United States. Alright, no worries, sister. Alright. All praise. Uh, all praise. Oh, all praise to the most high God, man. Alright. Uh,